Endocrine surgery is not a very well-known branch. Some surgeons in India, they don't even know that there is an MCH in endocrine surgery. It's not very popular. And there are very less endocrine surgery MCH people in the country. So first, let's take a look at how many seats are there. In order to do this, type in MCI courses in Google search and the first result that comes in the search click on that link it takes you to the MCI website this page particularly where you can choose MCH endocrine surgery and select all colleges all states and click on view results when you do this it will show that there are four colleges only offering 10 seats all over the country for MCH endocrine surgery. There are four seats in Tamil Nadu and six seats in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. Two seats are there in Madras Medical College, Chennai, two seats in Christian Medical College, Velour, and four seats in Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences, Lucknow, and two seats in King George Medical University, Lucknow. But what exactly is endocrine surgery? Let's take a look at the syllabus of endocrine surgery as given by the head of department of Madras Medical College. This document says that points which were considered before deciding the syllabus for MCH endocrine surgery, a super specialty course at the Tamil Nadu Dr. MGR Medical University are by definition an endocrine surgeon is the one who operates on endocrine glands. Target organs of the hormones are eliminated from the purview of the endocrine surgeons since all tissues in the body come under the actions of various hormones. Breast is not an endocrine gland and it is not included in the syllabus. Diabetic foot is also not included. Transnasal transphenoidal hypophysectomy is included in the syllabus. Currently, it is being done by some ENT surgeons and neurosurgeons. Endocrine glands are mainly pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, pancreas, and the neuroendocrine tumors of the gut. The syllabus will comprise of physiology of specific glands of the thyroid, parathyroid, pituitary, adrenal cortex, adrenal medulla, endocrine, gastroenteral, pancreatic system. For specific conditions, you'll be learning the pathophysiology, pathology, medical investigations, imaging, biopsy techniques, preoperative preparation, anesthetic complications, treatment, specific topics of pituitary, thyroid gland, such as listed in this document will be covered in MCH endocrine surgery. You can pause the video while I'm scrolling through this document if you want to read it or you can even find it in Google search if you type in MCH uh, endocrine surgery syllabus. And it also mentions that there will be postings in nuclear medicine, ENT neurosurgery and medical endocrinology but this depends on college. This is the Madras Medical College document and the specialty postings may be vary from one college to the other. This is the last page of the 2019 result for endocrine surgery. It shows that there were 221 candidates who applied in this year and you can see serial number 205 that is the First rank, the score was 332 out of 400. That is despite of negative marking. 332 is a very high score, which is 83%. Rank 2 got a score of 318. Rank 3 got a score of 312. Rank 4 got a score of 308. Rank 5 got a score of 301. So the first 
five minute position candidates got a score of more than 75 percent in this exam rank 6 got a score of 295 rank 7 got a two, uh, score of 293 rank 8 got a score of 292 rank 9 got a score of 292 and rank 10 got a score of 291 so the top 10 rank holders got a score of more than 291 in this exam rank 20 had a score of 275 then 50th rank had a score of 246 rank 70 has a score of 233 rank 90 has a score of 222 and rank 100 a score of 218 in this branch i suppose that the seats will be over by rank 20 or 25 maximum we cannot expect to get a seat beyond rank 20 or 25 the candidate with the last rank that is 221 got a score of 70 that is 17.5 percent so if you look at the number of seats and number of candidates who applied it is a ratio of 1 is to 22 which is quite a tough competition thanks for watching if such videos are useful please do like the video leave some comments on what kind of topics would you like to see the future videos on and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any future content.